All right, Brad Doherty's free competition yep. pick. My rebound in the Pacific. Just the man I'm going to jinx this round. I tell you what, it, just watching him get up off the floor at his height, it's phenomenal. All he's got to do is get some dunks down. People are going nuts. 45-inch vertical lead. <laughs> and I believe it. <laughs> All right, then. You're the leader so far. Got a couple teammates, got the crew with you, Maya Davis and uh, Newton. Uh, what are they telling you in your corner? Uh, they're telling me to stick to a plan, you know what I mean? Uh, go out there, do what I got to do, and uh, get it done. Take it back home to Stockton, California. That's where Pacific is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're putting them on the map. That went, yep, that went well short by Dane. Maybe a little freshman on awareness there. Davis driving, dishing, and a slam for Yango. Timeout, Duke. Play by Terrell Jones, misses there. Yango just two of five. Look at the fine Davis to Christian Moraker. That's just a great pass for Maya Davis. White knifes inside, blocked by shot. Newton. And here comes UOP, quickly forecourt. He's got nine. Short on the jumper, starts the break for Davis. Five the guard, swings it, tackle, traffic. Start the shot, come on! Oh, they can't afford that. Bowden with the steal. How about the hops? <laughs> Myrie Bowden. Interesting play by Providence. Six on the shot, ten on the game clock. Davis now puts it on the floor, drives, dishes, got it! Oh! Backs it back out, nearly lost his footing. 49 seconds, game clock, 10 on the shot. Doubling around the grass. Drives, hangs. Oh, out the window with the left hand. Oh, you in to get you? Misses, loose ball, Moriker has it. Three on one. Yango, count it. That's nice to see your 6'9". what we've done already.
we're all proud of what we've done. But there's new stuff on the horizon. Today, we go scratch and claw and stick together and fight. Go get it. You deserve it. Now go get it. Okay? Defense on three. One, two, three. Defense! Defense. Let's go. The 2003-2004 season was a tremendous year for Pacific basketball and head coach Bob Thomason. The Tigers recorded their best year in school history with 25 victories and along the way also ran off 16 wins in a row, a mark that was the longest winning streak in the entire nation. The Tigers emerged this past year as one of the very best mid-majors in college basketball. Night after night, Pacific found a way to win. The hallmark of the Tigers was unselfish team play with the emphasis on ruthless defense, crisp passing, and running the floor. That up-tempo style of play to go along with balanced scoring and athletes willing to sacrifice propelled the Tigers to a Big West title and another trip to the big dance. Led by a very athletic front line and outstanding guards, Pacific became fan favorites and media darlings at the NCAA tourney when they upset Providence and then left Kansas with their tongues hanging and grateful just to escape to the team bus. For the third time in his illustrious career, Bob Thomason was named Coach of the Year in the Big West Conference and his record of 259 victories ranks number one in the history of Pacific basketball. UOP set the tone for an extraordinary year with a rock hard preseason and an excellent effort against the number two team in the nation, Duke, in the Great Alaska Shootout. Following that outstanding performance against the Blue Devils, the Tigers came back with great efforts against St. Joe's, Nevada, and a tremendous win on the road against Coach Billy Tubbs' Lamar Cardinals. Pacific's non-conference opponents racked up 43 wins in 51 games, and that strength of schedule only fueled UOP's efforts when league play finally opened up. The Tigers just simply shot the lights out every night. Utilizing a number of different weapons each game, the Tigers ripped their way through the Big West to produce their best conference record in school history with 17 victories. The Tigers had students and fans hanging from the rafters at the jam-packed Sabano Center as they went on to nail down 15 straight Big West games in a row, including wins over UCSB by 20, Utah State by 19, and a crushing win over UC Riverside 92-57 to clinch the Big West Championship. It was the same story in the Big West Tournament on ESPN, when once again selfless team play and the ability to run the floor along with great performances by Maya Davis and Guillaume Yango keyed the Tigers' win over Northridge and sent Pacific back to the NCAA tourney for the sixth time in school history. What followed was what many considered to be the best game of the entire tourney as the 13th seed Pacific upset the number five Providence 66-58 to rock college basketball. Once again, Davis led the way with 19 points and Mr. Yango scorched the Friars for 18. Coach Thomason, congratulations. What a huge upset win. Last time Pacific won a tournament game, you, my friend, were on that team. How do you feel? Well, we feel great. Uh, kids played great all game, and, and uh, we had pretty good control of it, but they made good runs at us, and uh, our guards stepped up big time down the stretch, made some big key plays. Yeah, Coach, the confidence. We talked about it yesterday. How confident this team was, 17-1 and one in conference, a 15-game winning streak. How much do you think that played in tonight's victory? Oh, it does, and especially when it gets the three minutes to go in the game. These guys think they, nobody can beat them, and they made some big plays, and uh, I'm not for sure if I drew up that play, hit that three on, but it was your big one tonight. All right, Coach, thank you very much. Let's talk to your star player, Maya Davis, leading scorer all season. Your team had to have you tonight, and you had the dagger with you. When you had to finish them off, you hit the huge three. How you feeling? I feel, I feel unbelievable I mean, right now. I mean, this is a game that nobody thought we was going to win, but nobody knew it but UOP and uh, our team. We knew we was going to come out and give them a good game. We knew they were going to come out, and that's all we respected them. And uh, obviously, they, I didn't think they respected us too well, but we came out with a victory tonight. When you got the ball and you had to launch it, did you know it was going down? It's a, it's a shot you practice every day. Go, uh, go to the gym early and shoot by yourself. But, uh, I mean, I have confidence in myself, and my team has confidence in me, so I was, I was elected to shoot that shot. The player of the year in the Big West Conference, senior guard Maya Davis, was a warrior for the Tigers this past season. Named to the all-tourney team at the Great Alaska Shootout and in the Big West Conference Tournament, Davis was selected Conference Player of the Week three times. An honorable mention All-American, Davis was Pacific's team captain while leading the team in scoring, averaging 14.7 points per game while also leading the Tigers in steals. Davis had an outstanding senior season and was one of the keys to Pacific's great performance in the NCAA Tournament. Plus, with tremendous overall speed, Maya was an exceptional shooter who also hit 90% of his free throws. Davis graduated with a degree in communications, and after spending the summer with the Sacramento Kings, 
he's set to play in the NBA Developmental League. Guard Tom Cockle had an outstanding senior year shooting the ball. The Nebraska native hit for 39% from three-point land and brought toughness and tenacity to the Tigers. A five-year player, Cockle earned a degree in business and along the way hit big shots versus Kansas and a critical hoop against Northridge in the Big West title game. Senior guard Myrie Bowden missed 14 games this past year with a stress fracture. However, the most athletic of the Tigers sparkled when he was healthy. He started strong and finished strong in helping UOP to the big dance. Myrie earned a degree in communications and he was lights out in the college slam dunk contest. Junior forward Christian Marker is one of the cornerstones for Pacific this coming season. A first team all Big West selection, Christian had a very consistent year for the Tigers, leading the team in rebounding, averaging six boards a game, while also averaging 12.6 points a contest. Part of the Swedish connection, Christian is a big man who can shoot inside and outside. An extremely hard worker, Christian runs the floor very well, and along with hitting 26 versus Lamar and Fullerton, Christian scored in double figures in 20 out of 24 games. Mr. March, senior center Guillaume Yango, is originally from Paris, France, and he became a major force in the conference in the NCAA tournament. An athletic big man that can shoot the ball from the outside, Yango was named to the Big West Tournament team and also the Big West Conference Player of the Week. Yango shot 58% from the floor on the year, and he had the ability to step up with big performances in critical situations. Against Duke, he hit for 18 points and 6 boards, while against Northridge, in the championship game, he hit for 22 points and 8 boards. Factor in 18 points and 5 rebounds versus Providence, and 22 points and 10 boards versus Kansas, and it's easy to see why Yango is one of the keys for Pacific's return to the big dance this coming season. This will be the senior season for guard David Dubley, a team captain and a proven leader. An honorable mention all Big West Conference selection, David's an excellent shooting guard who also led the team in assists while also leading the conference hitting 91% of his free throws. Dubley is a winner who's done everything the coaches have asked for and along the way he hit for 16 versus Irvine and 14 against Northridge in the title game. Senior Tyler Newton is a rangy athlete and a very versatile player who can play the 3-4 or 5. An honorable mention Big West All-Conference performer, this is Newton's third year in the Pacific program. Tyler brings energy and a major passion for the game. He's a skilled big man who can play inside or outside and he's one of the keys to the Tigers' success this coming year. Senior Yasko Karajkic is a 6'7 southpaw sharpshooter who can light it up. A strong rebounder and a very skilled player, Tigers are looking for a very big season for the Swedish import and Pacific hopes to return to the NCAA tournament. Senior power forward center Matt Kemper is a talented shooter and solid rebounder. Kemper will be battling for minutes this season and brings added depth and excellent leadership to the Tigers' talented front court. Senior swingman Alan Purnell is a great defender who brings good size and strength to Pacific's backcourt. Bell is a very nice shooter who had an excellent summer and his outstanding work ethic should pay off for Pacific this coming season. Senior Marco Mihaljevic is a very skilled combination guard who can play the point or shooting guard. Marco has good size and coaches are looking for him to step up and fight for more playing time this coming season. Junior forward Miguel Flores is one of the strongest players on the team and along with some very nice moves you can look for Flores to make his presence felt this year. Sophomore forward center Mike White played key minutes and key games with the Tigers this past season. White's a very physical player who gives the Tigers some added muscle and attitude down low. You can also look for redshirt freshman forward Drew Pearson and three new athletes, shooting guard Mike Webb, along with two combo guards, Johnny Gray and Anthony Brown, all to add to Pacific's outstanding arsenal. If there's one factor that has set Pacific apart and been a key in the Tigers' rise as one of the top mid-majors in the country, it's because of a truly outstanding coaching staff that ranks among the very best in the entire nation. The staff is anchored by Ron Verlin, Calvin Bird, Adam Jacobson, and Aaron Velichko. They teach, preach, and breathe fire into the Pacific Tiger basketball program. Pacific is up. They can smell it. They can feel it. This is what you live for. Not only getting into the tournament, but oh, winning a game. Davis caps it! The 12 has upset the 5, Craig, again. 66-58 Pacific from the Big West. Knocked off the Friars from the Big East.
Raise me up. 